What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. So today, I want to talk about my Savinelli 320 collection. I hope you guys don't mind, but uh, I think there might be a few other 320 fans out there, and I wanted to show my 320 collection. I have five 320s I'd like to show you guys today and I'm gonna show you a little bit about them I thought you guys might like a cool video on on some of my pipes that I really enjoy The first one I'm gonna show you guys is one that I haven't shown anyone really. This is my 7 le series 3 unfinished 320 I'm gonna pop a couple of pictures up there for you I'm gonna read you this description 7 le unfinished vulcanite pipes start out as regular production pipes that might turn out to be Arco Bellinos or Quandales, I'm not sure how you say that. But while you're sanding them, one may have noticeable flaws, or the grain might be a little weak. Rather than going any further, they don't stain or rusticate them, but they fit them with a comfortable vulcanite stem and sell them for a lot less than their regular lines. As they're smoked, the pipes darken and pick up a nice patina, so they become more handsome with use. Uh, that description is from PipesAndCigars.com. They are about $65 to $70. This particular one does not have uh, the 6 millimeter filter. I know at the Pipe Nook you can get them in the 9 millimeter filter, which I would have loved to, but they're, they're very hard to keep in stock. And then when you got one in stock, I had just gotten this one. Uh, so check out the PipeNook.com. Check out his channel as well. This particular unfinished pipe came from TobaccoPipes.com. Right now I'm smoking some plum pudding out of it. I just recorded the Crack in the Tin episode. That'll be up Wednesday. Uh, so check out Wednesday for my plum pudding reaction. Check it out. All right, the next one is my Rossi Rabino 320KS. This is a system pipe. Let me just take this out here. Yeah, actually I have an okay looking filter in there. This is a balsa system pipe. Beautiful pipe. Put some pictures up there, let you look at those. So this is from bnbtobacco.com. The uh, simple presentation with the dusky briar accented only by a nickel stem ring allows the fine Italian shaping of these briars to speak for itself, resulting in an unpretentious look with broad appeal. While the jet black vulcanite stems offer a softer feel for those inclined to smoke their pipes clenched in the jaw. You can get that at bnbtobacco.com uh, for $49. That's about what I got mine for. I think it was I think I got mine for $56 around that, I think, for smoke from smokingpipes.com. So really great value pipes. They smoke just as good as my other Savinelli's. So if you're looking for a good smoking pipe and don't want to spend a lot of money, the Rossi Rabino. 320 is a really good value pipe. Check it out. All right, next I wanted to show you guys my Savinelli Roma 320. Gorgeous pipe. By the way, the 320 is also known as the author shape. I don't know why. That... It's pretty cool, though. I mean, I'm not a writer. I write music. Composer? I don't know. Songwriter? Let me throw some pictures up there for you to check out. All right, this is from smokingpipes.com. Chubby, compact, and utterly charming. I personally find the Savinelli 320 shape hard to resist. It becomes even harder to say no when offered in the generous KS designation from the dark and lovely Roma line. That's Adam O'Neill. So this was my first 320. This is the one I fell in love with. It's a, uh, you can't see it, but it's got a flat bottom so that it sits, you know, it sits straight. Does it rock? My other ones don't do that. It's got a flat bottom. The little Roma does. But uh, great pipe. Uh, for some reason, I don't like smoking the balsa out of this one. I, I take the balsa out of this one because I've had some trouble with it getting like stopped up. And this one, for some reason, I don't know why. You can get this one from smokingpipes.com or uh, tobaccopipes.com pretty much anywhere for about $89, $90. Uh, this is a you know, an $89, $90 pipe. Really great pipe. Love it. Grab a Roma 320. Uh, next is another Rossi. This is my Rossi Vittoria 8320. Uh, they add the little 8 there on some of the Rossi pipes. Let me pop a couple pictures up there. Rossi's Vittoria line, with its dimpled rustication and dark finish, is quite fitting when paired to this broad, plump author shape. It's a no-nonsense comfort pipe, 
combining one of Rossi's most popular shapes with a minimalist presentation. Now this is another one with no balsa system in it, and that's okay, you know. I like the balsa system, but I don't have to have it. It's fine. Uh, but I bought this pipe for about $45, $43. It's around that. You can get it at smokingpipes.com, tobaccopipes.com. So if you're looking for a, another good uh, smoking pipe, you want to smoke like a uh, Savinelli, but you don't want to spend $150, $180 uh, on a Savinelli pipe, grab you a Rossi Vittoria. This is a great smoking pipe. And lastly, this is my favorite new pipe. This was my gift to myself for being the Humanities Instructor of the Year at the college I teach at. This is my Savinelli Lancelotto 320. Beautiful pipe. I love this pipe. This is a system pipe. The balsa system. Got the little filter in here. Let me pop some uh, pictures up there while I read to you. One of Savinelli's more recent additions, the Lancelotto or Lancelot, sports bright black and bright metal wave pattern mounts and are available either smooth or rusticated finishes in a variety of shapes. Little surprise that one of said shapes should be this one, the ever popular and extra shapely 320 author, favored by many for its broad chambers, stout walls, and pleasing fullness in the hand. That is from smokingpipes.com, where I purchased this pipe. I don't think there is another one up there yet. I got the only one they had. I got this for $140. So this is my most expensive 320 for sure. And it's my favorite. It's probably a correlation there. <laughs> Something about this pipe that's just really great. Highly recommended. If you see, it's got the cool little pommel of the lance there because Lancelot, you know, was a jouster. Cool. All right, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Thought it'd be kind of cool to see my 320 collection now that I actually have a 320 collection to speak of. I've been collecting them for the past few months and I uh, thought you guys might like to see them. So anyway, I hope you had a good time looking at them. I had a good time showing them. Remember, love life, smoke a pipe, and I'll see you next time. All right, so you made it all the way to the end of the video. Congratulations. I'm gonna pop a couple other videos that I do here on the channel. Please check them out. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We're growing a little bit every day. Or you can stay here and smoke with me.